Welcome, 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 welcome. We're gonna do, we're gonna do raw love. Um, let's do Taurus, since my buddy bear is a Taurus. He's a bull. Huh. Be a bull. Let's do my little Tibetans. Let's do this. Um, this is, it's for our love, obviously, guys, okay? I'm a love channel. Um, but I love to go above and beyond and see other things, too. But for you guys, for sure, right now, it's, it's love, because I can feel it. So, let's see what's going on with Taurus for the first couple weeks of March. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. The Sorcerer's Apprentice is on killing people in five this time. The Sorcerer's Apprentice? Yeah, this would be a good movie if there's a movie. Okay, thank you. Two, four, five? Oh, yeah, I got yeah, it. Is it like a Harry Potter? Yeah, it's very similar. Okay. Sure. Alright, thank you. I, I watched out the movie. Oh, you've seen this? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I've seen this. Let me record it. Why can't I record it? Oh, because that's not the record button. Oh, new controllers, my little Tibetans. New, new controllers. You want me to leave it on now? Or do you watch it after with me? I'll do it. Watch it later, Gator? Yeah. Okay. Cool beans. All right. So, um, oh, look, this looks good, too. What's this? Something Frankenstein. Like, you know me. I love old movies. All right. So, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> the Emperor. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what I was talking about. Oh, oh, I know it's love related, and I love to like go deeper into reads. Okay, when I see it clearly, I'm gonna talk about it. But you guys are straight up dealing with love. And it's not because Taurus rules Venus by any means, even though there's stuff coming back around the corner. We'll get to that, all right? But, yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, but this is more than self-love. This is, there's something here. I can feel it. So let's get to the bottom of it. Ten of Earth. Holy cow. Emperor, Ace of Water, Ten of Earth. Should we just stop there? <laughs> Did, you know, and the fact that my mom came on, all right, and, and talked about sorcery, some movie, okay? There, there's definitely some magic. There's some magic happening here. So, Taurus, first two weeks of March, please. Um, the card went back in. I did have the five of pens come out reversed, all right? But let's see if it comes back out. The emperor is in love, all right? So somebody is in leadership mode, okay? It, somebody is being very assertive here. So this emperor is following their heart, which is going to lead to stability. And if you ask me with the two, the two of cups, the, there is definitely, um, most definitely mutual love on the board. Uh, I should say on the bed. I am on my bed. All right. So there's mutual love on the bed. So what else do we got for our little Tibetans? First two weeks of February, March, JK, March. March, March, March. Okay. The world. To me, that, that, that's, saying, that's saying travel, okay? Even though we know that could be a completion. You have the king of water at the bottom of the deck. So we have the emperor. Ace of water. Which is the ace of cups. All right. Ten of earth. Two of water, which is the two of cups. The world card. And the messenger of air. So you do have a message coming at you. Okay. Um, and I, I'm going to be completely honest with you. That to me feels like travel. Um, I'm going to have to grab a different deck. Because I want to check for you guys. Because I want to be able to read it a different way. But at the same time. Um. I'm seeing travel, okay? So we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So right off the bat, okay, there's this masculine energy, whether it's feminine, it, 
masculine, it doesn't matter. It, it's the whole taking the lead, following your heart, following where you know stability lies. Um, there has to be there's is mutual energy. So it, it could even be my my feminine thinking about the masculine. Okay, um, thoughts of the masculine. But to me, this is the masculine. I feel like I'm reading somebody else's energy. Let me step out of that a minute because I, I want to always read you guys' energy and it really throws me. Something, you could have had a message of something ending or something why something ended. But something, there's another door that's about to get opened and you're going to get a message. Some of you, I'm telling you, straight up travel. Um, tell me about the emperor. Tell me about the emperor. The fool. Okay, which is which is beautiful. Tell me about the world. <clears throat> All right, Queen of Air. So again, Air is telling me travel. Okay, so some of you, I don't know if you're astral traveling, you're legitimately traveling, um, but this Emperor energy is ready to step in and take a leap of faith with the Queen of Air. So my Tavidians are either Aries energy right now or Libra energy. Um, but you're most definitely going to get a message. And I knew this was love. This is strong because this is, this is love, but it, it's, it's stability. It's emotional. It's travel. It, it's happiness. It's some of you most definitely have the inner knowing. Tell me about the world. Well, that flew right out. King of cups. So I don't know if there's a, this is lots of masculine energy. Your, this masculine energy looks like it's going to message you or they're traveling right now or the two of you are going to travel together because when I clarified the world it was the queen of air and when I clarified it with a different deck it was the king of cups so it looks like this emperor is going to come in and tell the queen of air exactly how they feel so it looks like the masculine energy is going to travel to the feminine energy okay um let me pull your lessons. One lesson for my little Tibidians. Um The bottom of the deck is the Queen of Earth, which would be you guys. Tell me about the Two of Water. I mean, no, not the Two of Water. Sorry, your lesson. Um, what popped out was relationships, okay? So somebody is hanging out with the wrong person or hanging out with the wrong people. We have guilt, acceptance, and persevere. Um, so somebody needs to push through this and, and realize that something can't be changed and somebody's holding a lot of growth, but at the same time, it's if you're feeling guilty, if anyone at any means is feeling guilty and it's not just coming out, it's it's a lesson, okay? It's you're, you're meant to, to go through that, okay? Because I think it got you here, all right? Um, so that has have already been guilt, but I just want one card, please, Taurus. One card. Not ten. Taurus. What are you guys up to, my little Tividians? Do you want the struggle bus? Because this doesn't look like the struggle bus, if you ask me. But man, do they want to talk. Taurus. Taurus. One card, please, for Taurus. Not five again. One card for Taurus. All right. Loneliness and happiness. So... You go from lonely to happy, I guess. Um, but just know that you're never alone. And just be aware that they're putting you on the right path here. So that, that was probably that travel. Um, and I did see the five of pence come out. And I, I think I'm almost positive I mentioned if anyone's lonely, you're coming out of that. Okay. Um, I honestly feel like this is somebody else's energy more or less than it's yours. But you're involved, clearly. It, I mean, this is all love. Okay. Um... You know, you got the king and the queen, you got the two of cups, you got the ten of earth that talks about stability. Somebody right here is going to get a message about traveling. So either maybe this person's like needs to travel to you or vice versa. But to me, you're getting the message. You know what I'm saying? Like my Taurus is getting the message versus it going the other way around. All right, because this is the messenger of air. Okay, and it's, it's somebody... You know, that's probably at a distance. It's got a lot of love. Okay. To me, it looks like they're definitely going to take a leap of faith. Their eyes are shut. Okay. They did They did throw that 
you know, the leap of faith. So to me, it's this emperor, you know, going to the queen of air. So it, it is beautiful, okay? Um, I don't see any problems, believe it or not, which is crazy. So I think for you guys, the, the main focus is, is grounding this situation ship if it, you can. Taurus, best advice for Taurus, first two weeks. Six of Earth, okay, gifts of money, time, effort, a new career, new opportunities, paying off old debts, you know, balancing out a certain situation too, grounding a certain situation. But this is a message, to me, it's, it's travel. Strong again, the stress and travel, okay. Um, but that can be an inheritance all day, okay. One door is shutting for a brand new one to open, and it involves a soulmate for sure. There's no question, it's clear as day, okay. So, you know, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Now we have the Emperor and the Empress. Lavish abundance, giving birth to your dreams, nurturing yourself and others. Okay. So, it looks like gifts of money, too. Okay. That are going to make you extremely happy. Okay. It could be inheritance. You could have knew about it. I, I don't really know everyone's situation per se. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. Because this is going <clears> to <throat> make you extremely happy. So you can even be a feminine and emperor energy and vice versa. And that, cause the empress came out. But you can be, it's just basically take the lead and go after your dreams. Okay. Um, you are vulnerable. The Nine of Wands was reversed. To me, that's usually vulnerability. Okay. <clears throat> and fighting. But it's also looking over this way. But again, it can it can be this way. So it can be either or energy. Tell me about the Ten of Earth. What I really wanted was the Ten of Earth, okay? So I don't even feel like you have that big of a battle. Um, I think it looks gorgeous and <clears throat> something's coming in. That's too many. Ten of Earth. So <clears throat> could have extra money in a paycheck. It doesn't have to be like a huge abundance. All right, so it's the Queen of Swords. So it's the same thing, Queen of Air. So it's going to the Queen of Air. All right, this gift of money, you know, is going to the Queen of Swords. So, um, she's about to get gifted, which would be the Empress. Okay, and if you're, if you're an Empress, you know, you're going to want your Emperor. And it looks like there's a particular gentleman that's going to take a leap of faith because there's, there's love. All right, coming in as the King of Water, too, there, there's love. Okay. So it was a beautiful, beautiful read. Um, there's nothing wrong with vulnerability, okay? So I wish you guys the best. I love you. Bye.